Captain! Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Squidward? Why can't I just have a day? Yeah, I'm thinking my GameCube audio cable definitely needs a little bit of heat in here. Might be a good idea to invest in a new one before too long. <laughs> oh. Pardon. Hmm. Anyway, hey, what's up? First things first, only SpongeBob can take the taxi. That's new. I've never noticed that before. Okay. Get my drink. All right, I am hydrated and good to go. Let's scoot the mic a little bit more. About as much as I can scoot, I guess. Let's find some place to switch to SpongeBob. There's one over there. Okay, that was weird. I don't know if you guys got any of that. Anyway, figure I'm gonna go back first before we take on the next boss and like just do a bit of cleanup. Well, I mean back at rock bottom anyway. Gee whiz, it, like I know I say this like every other time, but it is hot. But it definitely has an effect on my audio quality, so I don't want to like turn the fan on. At least, I would need to turn it on like three miles away. Anyway. I'm ready for driving school to start up again, after all these robots are gone. Hmm, maybe these robots aren't so bad after all. Alright, a little bit of dialogue we missed, so that's cool. Now... I'm not exactly sure where this is. Well, let me check uh, the video here a little bit. Okay, no, it's fine. It might be a little. I might. I tweaked the video for the capture card a little bit. It might be 
slightly too saturated, but just slightly. Ooh. Now, I think I remember hearing the one so hard, was it? I think it's time for a victory screech. I think I remember hearing it was somewhere around here. The one I was missing. So, I might have to be saying, oh wait, 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 wait. I feel like it was something to do with this. Oh, is that it over there? Might be, but I gotta be Sandy, I think. I'm just taking another look at the yeah, I tried to make, uh, yeah, there it is right there. Um, I tried to make the video that you guys see as close as I could to what I see on my TV. But yeah, it might still be a little oversaturated. If it bugs anybody, I could probably tweak it. Alright, so come over here and get Sandy. Okay, now, just go over here. I don't know if I'm just supposed to like swing over there or what. No, I don't got enough air for that. I might can do it from here. Oh, or am I supposed to? Oh, there we go. There's a button. Yeah, there we go. Someone better make good use of all these. Hey! Yeah. Is there anything to this? Alright, so since there doesn't seem to be anybody around and since it's actually bugging me a fair bit, I'm gonna tweak the video settings real quick. Oh, oh god. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, oh. I need more room for all this stuff. Jeez. Alright. Well, now then, we've taken care of that. We're missing a sock, but, uh... I'm not gonna worry about that right now. But now... I can, I can go take on the boss. 
I just need to warp back real quick. Hmm. Sorry, sorry. All right, and now there's a boss that we can deal with over there. First, I'm gonna get these shiny objects. Sparring, the old clothesline move. Ring. The old clothesline move. Yeah, I mean, robots is basically the name of the game here. I mean, not really. Not really. The name of the game is uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom, but. Also, how's the volume? This game's volume's kind of... This game's volume is kind of all over the place, so I am not really sure. Volume's okay. All right, I'll take your word for it. Oh, sorry, I keep bumping into it. Oh, but now we can't go down there anymore. Oops. I walked into that one. Do see do and around you go. You just want to basically keep making crates all over the place. It's basically the name of the game here. Except, no, again, the name of the game is Battle for Bikini Bottom. If he hits me, then it, it doesn't count. Did 
Just gotta keep making crates. But we've done it. Oh, this music so good. Why is this game so good? Wouldn't it be funny if you got hit by the ice breath and you had to do Sandy's entire phase again? No, just that wouldn't be funny at all. Yeah, you're right. Gosh darn it. Okay, almost got it. say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. Ew. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you. We're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas. Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Mm, something's fishy here. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, so. First, we want to talk to Bubble Buddy. Bubble Buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super Pinky Shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Hey, Vinny, and possibly by Vinny. I'm paying my entire salary and attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. All right, so as he says, we basically have a really good remote attack now. Like a, a ranged move. Oh, sorry, controls are inverted. There you go. Gonna want to explore the, the hub a little bit because we got some new stuff to do around here. Obviously gonna wanna break all these tiki's. 
Oh, there's an invisible wall up there. This move is very useful, as you can probably imagine. Very good for getting things in the distance, very good for taking out annoying enemies. And just in general, very good. Very useful move. And if I'm not mistaken, let me see something here. Oh yeah, and we can use it to break those things, which were previously destructible only by outside means. Also, there's a sock. Oh, and there's our next health upgrade up there, so we're gonna wanna get to that. I don't think I can grab it just with this, can I? No. At least it doesn't seem that way, so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Fortunately, I forgot what the old-fashioned way was. So, give me a second. There's a movie theater over there where we can unlock... Well, you know, movies, but it costs a whole mess of shiny objects. May I help you? Like a freaking ton, so I don't know. And again, although this SpongeBob's dream has no uh, shiny object or has no golden spatula requirement, it is not considered by the game to be the next level in the lineup. So, you know, me being a stickler for doing things in order probably gonna not do that one yet. Oh, I'm gonna have to step back a little bit. Alright. Now we can use this to get on top of the chum bucket. Get a spatula. Getting a lot of these golden spatulas. Get a nice view of the rest of the hub. Now, hopefully jump over to the Krusty Krab sign. Six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. Yeah, so I think that's our last health upgrade of the game, so... We are now at full power. And we are not able to... Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stop on your children! And stop on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom news flash. Uh... They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. There's a, as you can tell by that shadow, there's a hidden golden spatula up here. Let's we'll see how we're doing for spatulas in the ho Oh, wow, we're just missing one. And we're about to go get it in like one second. Wow, them clickety clackety L and R buttons on the GameCube. 
But Lord, if I play something on the Dreamcast, y'all ain't seen nothing because it's like the Dreamcast is quite possibly the loudest console that I've ever owned. Again, probably not supposed to go up here. Okay, now over to the Krusty Krab. <laughs> Play it loud. Are you ready, kids? Set. Go. Oh, these guys are new. I believe. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. I might actually die. I, I might actually die here. Or maybe not. Now I can take out those guys uh, safely from a distance. Again, why is the soundtrack in this game so freaking good? It boggles the mind. It boggles the body, even. In general, it just boggles. Getting a heal, getting a heal. Go see Mr. Krabs for the reward. Very breakable, the Krusty Krab right now. We're gonna do exactly what the robots were doing. And prove that there's no difference between us and them. Also, I think while this is modeled, you cannot go in there. Yeah, I think the colors on uh, the capture card are pretty good now. Might be. You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. Really? Is that the take we're gonna go with, fella? Not Mr. Krabs. Is that the take we're gonna go with? Ar, 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 ar. And we got all the uh, ones here. So before we go on to the next level here, I'm gonna probably want to do a bit of cleanup. Yes, more. Like also, there's a mime. I'm just gonna double check the Krusty Krab first. And by double check, I mean break everything in sight again. You know, you just want to make sure there's nothing you're missing around here. You can open the cash register. I don't know if there's any 
purpose to do that. But you can do it. All right, now, first thing, we're gonna wanna go to downtown Bikini Bottom, where it says to come back with the cruise bubble. Now that we have the cruise bubble, we're coming back. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Oh, we gotta hit that from uh, the other side there. Haven't seen that guy in a little bit. Say hello to my okay, now we just gotta kinda cruise it around here and boop. Now I don't know if we're supposed to go back over like the other way. I guess so. Still gotta open that up. Oh, there's a, there's a hook for Sandy there. I wonder how easy it is to come over here, Sandy. Is there a... Is there a bus stop in here? It's like a really weird question, but... But yeah, all uh, golden spatulas for this level are now obtained. And I suspect that the sock we're missing is what we'll get if we come back here as Sandy. Yeah, there's one right here. Don't question how a bus gets in here. Not important. And yep, there it is. Last sock. And now there's something else we're missing in Jellyfish Fields that we uh, we could have done a while ago, but I decided to wait for it. Now I have to remember where it is. Oh, it's over there. So yeah, there was that bowling thing. And uh, as soon as I get over there, we can do that. Like I said, we've, we've, we've been able to do that for a bit, but I figured, you know, I'd just kind of make some of this clean up its own, its own thing, really. Oh, geez. All right, so, stand on this, do that, and we get a sock. Now, I'm still missing a ton of other socks in this level, like four more. I might look for those off stream, I don't know. But we're good on Downtown Bikini Bottom, Goo Lagoon. Missing one in Rock Bottom, none in the Mermelair, none in Sand Mountain, and we haven't been to the rest of them yet. So let's return some socks to Patrick. And then there's one more thing I can think to do. There's one more thing I can think to do before we move on to some new stuff. Alright, so yeah, one more thing. And that would be Goo Lagoon. And then go to the carnival because with the bowling move there's something you can do with spongebob 
I don't know if you get anything for doing it, but you can do it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Why did I go right through him? There we go. Plus this, uh, these, uh, backtracking trips let us get some more shiny objects, which are always good. Especially if we're gonna try and unlock the movie theater, which we might. It's a bit farther away from the start spot than I remembered, but I'll get there. Okay, so yeah, right over here. You know, there's a ski ball. Oh, rah, 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 rah. All right then. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like. All right, so. We can do this. And you can like play ski ball. And you can get the bubble stuck in the machine. That's okay, because the game doesn't particularly care. And you know, you gotta bury up your uh your strength. The more you hold it. It might just be uh, for like shiny objects, but I'm gonna try to get it in the uh, the one up there. And if once I do, I'll go. Because you know, I just want to make sure you can't get a sock this way. Ugh. We might be here for a minute. Come on, go in. Go in. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Go in. Go in. Go in. All right, so let me just see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Eh, eh. Eh, go in. Yeah, it's just, it seems like it's just for shiny objects, but I mean, if you're gonna grind. Oh, that's right, I already got the, all the socks here. <laughs> Well then, next level, I believe, is the Kelp Forest, so I'm gonna go there next. I didn't think it would put me in the Krusty Krab, but there you go. So what was after Kelp Garden though? Kelp Forest? Oh, the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard with Spongebob's Dream. Yeah, figures. The game considers the level with no, like, requirement to be the last one. Figures, huh? Is there, is there like something up here? I don't think so. I'm missing like four socks in the hub. I have no idea where those could be. Alright, so... Actual new content. I bet you didn't think you were going to see the day.
Here we are in the kelp forest, an interesting area with many sights to see, for those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Oh, ow. Oh, he's good. He's not good enough, though. Alright, not exactly my most favorite level, but, you know, let's just give it a go. That, that, that hurts. That leaf hurts. I remember back when I originally played this game, my gamma was set way too low, and this level was always like impossible to see in. That's fun. Uh, okay, you can use... You can like, get up there. Pretty much just uh, no, no wait. There's something over here. It's a slot. So yeah, new enemy. Mm, mm good shiny objects. And the trick is that you gotta defeat all of them before they regenerate the others. I might get a little lost in this level, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is one of the more non-linear levels in the game, I'd say. Mm, what do I throw this at? I mean, I figured I was supposed to hit that button. Mm, yeah, you can't quite make it. Maybe there's like a trick to it. Yeah, you gotta be SpongeBob. Gotta be SpongeBob to talk to Mrs. Pub. That's much better. You know, it, it's not like a Donkey Kong 64 thing, but it is a, a little irritating. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just, uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean, uh, campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Pop. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you found all of them. Mrs. Puff and her shaking in this game, like. It always makes me think like she is like this close to having a mental breakdown in this game. I mean, granted, she's kind of like that in the show, but even more in the game. Like, the game takes it up to 11. Maybe even to 12. And again, don't know why you can go in the porta potty. Why it, like, stops you like that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, I know I can climb on this. I don't think I can get over there with it. 
Maybe if you were, you know, skilled enough. I mean, I would have used that, but when you destroy the tiki's, you're pretty much you kind of uh, sunk on that, aren't you? Yeah, this is this is one of the more confusing levels, in my opinion. I may have said that already, but you know what? I think it warrants repeating. Uh, it's just some. Don't let me forget. There's a guy up there. Can I get over there from here? Yeah, I can. It can be done. I mean, you can go that way, you can go this way. Okay, they doesn't seem to be vanishing, they just seem to be like... Going in and out. Oh man. Oh, I found one of them. It's kind of like uh, the mission back in Goo Lagoon, except, like, much harder. Hmm. Uh, this might be like a Patrick thing, but I don't think Patrick can jump much higher, can he? Hmm. Yeah, this, this level makes me dizzy in the head. Oh, hey, it's that guy from back in the Mermelair. Now I can just take him out with this. I see something glowing over there. It's just the get to the end of the area spatula. Uh, I don't know if I want to leave yet, though. There could be interesting things. I mean, it, it probably stands to reason, but the further I get in this game, the less I remember. I mean, I remember a lot of it, but it gets kind of fainter the further I get in the game. Oh man, that's probably really loud, isn't it? There's something over there. It's probably a sock. At first I was like, how am I going to bowl all the way over there? And then I'm just like, oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, I guess that would, uh... Yeah, that would solve that. That would piece that together pretty nice. I like how all I need to do is find the campers. I don't actually have to, like, help them or anything. Just, no, just figure out where they are. 
They can they can get back on their own. Just make sure they're not dead. Alright, let's do some Patrick things. Oh, that's right. This that was over here. Then we gotta go over here. Oh man, we're just unraveling the puzzle here. Ah, oh, dang it. But luckily, there's one right here. The game's very picky about where you are when you throw when you want to throw that. Oh yikes! That's just, that was tight. Oh no! No! Oh well, I done goofed it. I done goofed it. You know, I feel like getting through this level would be a lot easier if I had some kind of all-knowing uh, shellfish to consult. That's all I'm gonna say on the subject, really. This is this is a picky bit, picky bit. So shiny. Oh. Okay, that counted as goo, goo touch. Hmm, a conch. It could work. Could work. But I don't know, I might just consult the magic toenail. Well, that's bunk, basically. I wasted too much time. And naturally, you may have assumed as such, Patrick does not have access to my vast library of bubble moves. So I cannot use the cruise bubble as Patrick. God, that waterfall is loud. Oh, and there's a camper over here. Are they all in the first area, I wonder? We're gonna wanna get that sock over there. And I'm gonna wanna just check around here to make sure that, God, that's loud. I mean, I guess waterfalls are pretty loud in real life, but I guess this is one instance where I'm not exactly clamoring for realism. It's all right, my SpongeBob game does not have to be realistic. It's fine. I don't know if all the campers are in like the first area or what. That would be interesting if they were. Did I ever go over here? Yeah, I must have. Oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure we come back from somewhere over here. Well, you know, we'll just ad advance with the level, and if we don't notice any more campers, we'll, we can probably safely assume they're all in here. Um, okay, can I be warped to the end there? That'd be good.
Nope. <laughs> but I can use the box. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> no, I'm just gotta walk it. I mean, fast travel, but be reasonable. Right, the swamp. Yeah, there's clearly something down here. Oh, that still hit him somehow, I think. Oh, no, there in there's some in the other areas too. Well, that's good to know right off the bat, so we don't have to keep worrying about- Oh, I don't know, they told me to deal with that guy from a distance. But was this where I was supposed to go? Did I make a mistake? Like I said, I don't know, it's very open-ended, this area. I mean, since there's a camper over here, I'm gonna assume this is the, uh quote-unquote secret path, but... Oh, no, wait, it kind of just meets up over here, maybe? Oh, that's probably for Patrick to throw. Hmm. It just gets more and more pecu peculiar, doesn't it? Okay, so yeah, you can, uh, it meets up over here, I think. Yeah. So you go this way, and it's like, oh, hey, there's Mr. Krabs. Alright, first thing, though, I'm gonna want to take out the enemy, sp the enemy spawner is Spongebob. stone tiki's to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there. I saw three tiki's scattered around this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Alright, so there's one, and we already know where one of the others is. But we gotta get over there. And there's ice. So that pretty much opens the door to all manner of secrecy. Oh, can't do that. Can't make that happen. Kind of a thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I gotta lean forward a little bit. Let's see.
Oh well, that neatly takes care of that. Okay, so I guess I gotta keep in mind that the stone tiki probably won't expire like the fruit. Which is an odd statement, I'm aware. But the hey. And get ready for a whole bunch of this. So, can you throw it over there, I wonder? Well, maybe, but it's not gonna work like that. Again, could, pro could probably grind a lot of, uh... Sheesh. Uh, maybe I should try to get one of the other ones. Maybe I should try messing with the ice. So let's try doing that. Anything to get away from this waterfall. Oh, so you can press that and it opens cage for a golden spatula. There's something over there. Oh, like I said, this one is really open in the at least compared to all the other ones. I don't know, maybe here you're supposed to do a bungee. It's hard to say at this point. Probably gonna die. Mm, yeah, I died. Alright, so I didn't see anything too notable in that direction. So I guess back to trying this. Oh wait, 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 wait. I think I I think I know what must be done here. To fall down here, then maybe you gotta take it around. Bring it around town. Alright, so you, no, I can't jump onto that. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. Cause like I can't jump like this. Jumping is strictly prohibited. So no, it's not that, as cool as that would have been. And I can't jump to that. I can kind of get on this, however. But I highly suspect that this is not it. And like Mr. Crab said, we need to do this to progress, so... I mean, it could be that simple.
Uh, just for just for a little bit. Oh, oh. oh. we're getting into the late game. You can kind of tell. If nothing else, you know, we're working towards that movie theater. Again, not, not a sentence you'd probably hear me say outside of this context. I've been saying that a lot lately, but it, it's usually true. Alright, let's see. Could it really be that simple? Can I just, can I just like kind of bob and weave? Herp. Well, if I can't, oh, oh, ah. If I can, I gotta do it better than that. I'll try it uh, a couple more times. Oh, psh. Almost got 10,000 shiny objects. You know, raking in a bunch of them like this. Oh, nope, it's not gonna work. My leg's really itchy. Oh my god. That's a good question, Patrick. Oh, of course. Oh, we're close. We're close to 10,000. I might have said 1,000 before, which is grossly off the mark. And so this one's perplexing me. Obviously, the one at the start is like no effort. No, 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 no. That's not gonna, no. I'm gonna try, oh. I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try throwing it a couple times. Cause we need we need all of them if we wanna make it through here. No, cause it's like there it hits an invisible wall, so that's that's a problem. And given my recent increase in shiny objects, I'm guessing it did not make it. Oh, 25 more. Or maybe just, yeah, 25 more. Jeez, this is a thing. This is a thing and they have. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I did it, I did it. All right, take out the spawner as SpongeBob again. And I hope that I don't die anymore. Restart until I can get that golden spatula up there. Alright, so I take it, I probably gotta go back over here. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like it. Perp. 
perilous platforming. Mm, the dreaded double T. Yeah, open the gate. Hmm. Okay, one camper left there, so that's good. I mean, I obviously can't do the... Well, maybe not obviously, but I can't do the bungee as Patrick, so... But you're clearly intended to be able to bring Patrick here because of the melon and everything. Mm, blast. So what's the purpose of over here? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, I'm fine if it's nothing. I just would like to know. Yeah, that jump does not feel good. I doubt this one will feel very good either. Uh, okay. I have a feeling I can keep Patrick, like, a safe distance from that. Because I have a feeling, yes, Patrick just needs to go over here. To get this. And put it on there. Oh, no, no! Uh, That was gloriously bad. I mean, I'm guessing the last camper is probably also in this area. Or maybe in the, uh, I don't know, maybe it's in the first area. Oh god, that... Uh, this does not feel good. These jumps make my my butt. This well, you know. Oh wait, when did I? Oh yeah, because I paid the clam. I was like, when did I lose so many of those? Uh, that, however, was probably the best delivery of fake crabs has given all game. Okay, uh, I'm gonna come back to this area, but for the sake of fast travel, I'm gonna go in here. Because I'm pretty sure someone's waiting with a mission right inside. Oh, my leg. My leg. Oh, 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 God. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? 
I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals that power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well, then you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. All right, just wanted to get that mission. My leg! My leg! <laughs> Hang on, I'll be back. I'll be back over there in a second. Where does this lead to? Oh, it leads over here. As soon as my leg is properly broken up. It's getting there. There's a sock up there in what looks like the last camper. Might just be a jellyfish. No, it's a robot. There's a sock. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Oh god. Okay, I'm back. I have notoriously sleepy legs. Yeah, I'm all, I'm I'm good now. But I thought I saw something over this way, so I want to check. It pays to search the crooks and nannies. Oh, that's just like the, the path to Mr. Krabs right there. Hmm. Not entirely sure about that last camper, but like I said, we wrap back around. So for all I know, it could be on like the other end of that. And I'm pretty sure I checked on that guy over there. Hmm, this might this might end up being like a one level stream. I thought, you know, we were to I thought we were doing like, you know, pretty good progress, but uh this is this level is considerably longer. It feels like, at least it feels like that. I don't know. I'll check. I'll check to see how long we've been at it once we're done. Oh, there's a sock over there. Gonna want that. Any method I can get it. Where's the Where's the bungee? Oh, it's right here. Do I get like a spatula for this or anything like that? Doesn't seem like it. But I've learned the location of a stock, so we have to go get it. Very important. Gotta comb the comb the level. Level's not as confusing as I remember, but it's still kind of confusing compared to the other ones. It suck. 
Sock achieved. Yeah, I don't know. Like, you guys... You guys are getting a slightly darker picture than I'm getting. Like, a slightly more saturated. But then again, now that I'm looking at it, mine does look a little... Just a tiny bit washed out, so it might be... It might be better that you guys have a bit of a darker image. I don't know. Mine's like super gamma cheat mode. Alright, now let's, let's just deal with whatever Barnacle Boy wanted us to do with the crystals. Yeah, because I mean like... It, it, it's kind of a subtle difference, but I... I'm able to notice it, but I'm actually, you know, looking out super hard for it. So, oh, something for Patrick over here. So, I want to do that real quick. Oh, there's a sock. Gotta remember that. Or I don't need to because I can cheese it and get up here. Uh, that might be kind of a significant cheese. I don't know. Either way, we're not doing too bad for socks. But yeah, if, if, if the pictures are different, it's real subtle. And, I don't know, part of it might be just the glare coming off the TV that makes it look brighter. I don't know, I'm, I'm too concerned about this, but you know, it is my stream, so... I want it to look good. Okay, now I gotta come up here as Spongebob. But yeah, I want, want the stream to look good, nice and good for everybody. I might, and, and sound good, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little over-concerned sometimes, but, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to make it good. I don't like to do things halfway. That's why I end up tweaking my audio all the time. <laughs> Er, er, er. Okay. Hello, legendary gamer eight. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Who's this? Who's it? I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna care if you say. Like, uh, no, it's a milkshake. Ooh. Oh god, now I got a cramp in my side. Ah! Okay. I got a milkshake. <laughs> but I might want to leave it a second, because I actually can't get anything out of the straw. The thing about milkshakes, isn't it? Now, like, what kind of cheese was this? Like, I know I, I cheesed it over here. Because I jumped on this thing. Which gives you that extra bit of height necessary to get up here. Oh, but you... I don't think you can... No, you can totally make it up here. I am not entirely sure how much of a cheese this actually is. It definitely feels like cheese. I want to bring something up here, Patrick. Let's let's uh, go the normal way. I, I need to let that milkshake thaw out a little bit. It's a bit too thick. T H I C C. 
So I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of like SpongeBob Patrick switching here. Yeah, this is gonna be that kind of a intensive area. And I like this level. Yeah, this is a thick this is a thick shake. I don't I forgot what that did for me. Maybe we should uh Oh, hey, it's that guy. You remember him, right? Yeah, it's not its not that much of a cheese. A cheese, but not like a super duper pooper scooper cheese. Probably not the best way to take care of that guy, but if it works, it works. I mean, look, it's it's pretty it's pretty nice of them to bring me a milkshake because it, as mentioned before, I l currently live in Satan's abode, home of the incredible, unwavering heat. Up, oh, and there's the last camper. Just a single camper in this area. Who would have thought? Yeah, it might be kind of like a SpongeBob Patrick switch kind of thing where you got to do some of the some of it as spongebob some as patrick so on and so forth and i think you got to extend that upward anyway whoop whoop Oh yeah, there's a little... Yeah, you just kind of step like this. So the question is, where do I get the stone tiki from? Give me the stone tiki. Oh yeah, I think you gotta bring a fruit up here or something. I don't think I can make it over there. Nope. Oh yeah, here's a stone teak. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I bring the other one from like the other area. That would make sense. Gotta puzzle it up. Oh, there's one right here. The puzzle. Okay, I got caught on that for a second. Oh, there's one up here. There are three left. And let me just check to make sure there's no socks hiding around. Where I can't see them. And we don't need this here anymore. So we can, uh... Do away with that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, but there's one over here. How the heck do you get to that? Can I throw it from here? Oop. Oh yeah, and I need the third one that was over down that way. I think. I'm not honestly sure. Let's do it. Let's do it anyway. Or maybe you're meant to like... Oh, there's one up here. Oh... Me... Me brain... Me brain's being puzzled. I'm being quite puzzled right now. You got Spongebob, you got a trick. It's all a bit weird, isn't it? There is one crystal left. I'll know how to get it. Mm, pardon me. Again, don't know if that came through. That's I, I can't. I, I can't really ever be sure, to be quite honest. Well, I can, but not right now. Not right now. I can't. Alright, and now we don't need this one over here. We can take that. Don't know if it's something we want to do, but we can do it. Kind of throw that right there. Oh, and you can go up here. And I'm going to want to do that as Spongebob. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on in this area. It's it's not a big area, but there's a lot of there's a there's density to it. Kind of hard to get the ice cream through the straw there. You gotta be careful not to make my hands sticky. We wouldn't want that. Not even remotely would we want that. And you know, basically the same old music but slowed down. I could have commented that on commented on that like ages ago, but I didn't. What does that do for me? Oh, it opens the path. So I'm guessing like the Barnacle Boy thing is like a side thing. Yeah, so we're not we're not doing too bad. And still got a couple of missing socks, but this can be dealt with. My only problem is, you know, the kind of time crunch that, you know, going on vacation has put me on. Because I would like to beat this 100%. I've never gotten absolutely everything in it. Most of the golden spatulas, but never like, uh... Oh no, I need to actually talk to him as fun. Gain the 
power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh -huh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the thermal air and get back to work. But uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. And goodbye. And there we go. And just like quick warp me over there. Nope. Yeah, I'm playing this with one hand. While I drink a milkshake. I need to shit. I need to set up a milkshake cam so I can prove it. And I think this is the last area. Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Man, this this is a really thick milkshake. Well, I am a bit busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. Try not to fall off. Alright, so more sliding. This is probably intended to be the hardest slide in the game. Oh. Rainbow Road slide. Still haven't beaten my record yet. Perseverance! But you're the greatest superhero that ever lived. How could I, a simple sponge, topple your record? Keep trying, youngster! Keep trying! I can probably turn the sound effects back up now. Probably better. It's like Rainbow Road SpongeBob edition. Man, this slide is a bit like trying to get anything out of this milkshake. Oh, can't jump. Can't jump there. Lord, yeah, this is very tight. Arr, arr. I remembered this being kind of tough, but I didn't think of it like this. Jeez.
to enter super focus mode. Oh dear, oh no. Oh, I thought we were done with the waterfalls. That was bunk and all of y'all know it. What's this way? Uh, so I'm guessing... Oh. What's kind of... What's kind of... I guess I gotta hold up on the control stick there. I gained a lot of respect for Mermaid Man today. Yeah. If you don't if you don't like press anything, then you just you just no good. There's a sock around here somewhere. Oh, I I have lost all semblance of where I am. I gotta beat Mermaid Man's time challenge, though. It's very important that I do this. Okay, actually, I think holding up and down on the control stick has more of an effect than I originally thought. Yeah. Absolutely. Whoopsie daisy. I see where I gotta go to get the sock now. Yeah. Gonna want that sock. Hmm, I don't know if I'm doing good enough to beat Mermaid Man's time. Yeah, it really is. This is Rainbow. This is Rainbob Road. The most treacherous course for the one who has mastered sliding. Oh yeah, I am not gonna beat Mermaid Man's time. Lord, Mermaid Man. He's a freaking machine. I might have to get a spoon for this. I'm sure that the last sock is also on here somewhere. Oh, that was pathetic. Oh, so it just reset the whole thing. Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta take that slower. Still have yeah, this, this is kind of all about knowing when to slow down.
You gotta, you gotta take, you gotta go into the turns kind of slow. And like, but go fast on like whatever straightaways the game gives you. Yeah, see like right here, you want to be holding up. That's a gradual turn, so I can keep, uh, keep holding it. Probably just want to hit this one for the time challenge. How on earth did I survive that? Again, how? Well now, that's some time you've gotten. I guess you could say I had that course flicked. I guess I owe you a reward. Take this golden spatula. Thanks, mermaid man. And I'm just gonna check it out one more time, man. I'm missing one sock, but I might have to do a lot of the sock hunt off stream because I doubt that'll end up being very entertaining at all. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, well, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, let's see. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious looking. Any alternate pass I may see. Almost back up to 10,000. I mean, I got that one up there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, I got the checkpoint, whatever. Yeah, you can just kind of like cheat up here or something. Mm, there's just there's just like ugh, too much to check uh, Okay, so this is uh, the side path I'm guessing Like ugh, what what is there another sock on this? Hard to say. There could be. Socks could be anywhere. Every path is an alternate path when it's not the path you're on. Well, whatever. Oh, 
What have I done? Did I return the puff. And now I can drink this milkshake. SpongeBob, there you are. Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. You're not so bad when you aren't behind the wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff. I'll cherish it always. Dustin drinks a milkshake live on stream, but everybody's been waiting for. It would be a cartoon adaption of this game, pretty much. Let me see how long I've been streaming for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeesh, like two hours. <laughs> hmm. Lord of mercy. Well, since I got this milkshake, it probably would be best if I stopped about now, so... You know, I'll probably try to stream this at least once or twice more before I leave. I'm, I'm gonna try to get to the end of this. I have about two more regular levels, plus maybe a little bit of cleanup.